Okay, so remember how yesterday I said that lots of people believed in Jesus after they saw him bring Lazarus back to life? That was great, but it also turned out to be a problem. You see, the religious leaders, they didn't like people believing in Jesus, so they started making plans to kill Jesus and Lazarus. Around this time, Jesus and his friends went off by themselves to pray in a garden called Gethsemane. And meanwhile, the religious leaders, they were lying about Jesus and making plans to hurt him. Let's face it, people aren't always nice, are they? But no matter what people do, trust God. Think of your own life. Is everyone nice to you all the time? Is there someone in your life who isn't nice to you? Who makes things difficult for you? Don't say the person's name. Just quietly talk to your parents about it a little bit. Talk to your siblings. Talk to your cousins. You can pause here. Now, when I was growing up, I had a lot of people who didn't believe I could be a pilot. And they thought I was kind of an airhead. Uh, my head was always in the clouds. You know, that sort of thing. But, you know, it doesn't matter what they say. What really got to me were these two. They were real bullies. We're talking about the kind that really punch and kick and all that. And when they got to me, here's the problem. I was so young, I started acting exactly like them. And that's wrong, too. Jesus understands how we feel when people aren't nice to us. But we can learn from him. Learn how to handle those situations. In fact, Jesus and his friends are in another part of the garden praying to God about the way people are treating them. That's the best way to handle any situation. And we can do that too. Let's talk to God right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that this world is so full of people that, that just don't get your love. We ask as we, we talk about your son today, that we lift up these people that have not been nice to us. Please help them understand. Please lift them up to your love so that you can show them what it's all about. And maybe through today's lesson, we can all lift them up and show them what it's all about. Whoa, what's that noise? I, I hear something. It sounds like Marching, coming this way. Oh, it must be the Roman guards. They're coming after Jesus. Quick, get down. Stay down. I hear Judas's voice. Whoa, is he leading them to Jesus? I thought he was one of the friends. S stay down. Hide your face. Don't let them see you. Okay. They seem to be going. I don't think they saw us. But what were they doing here? What's this? A sword? A Roman helmet? Oh no! I don't see or hear Jesus and his friends. Where are they? I, th I think they took Jesus. What happened to him? I have to find out what happened to Jesus. It it's not safe here. Come with me. Stay quiet. We don't know how far ahead those guards are. Come on. Okay, remember, be quiet. We don't want the Romans to arrest us, too. Stay together. Let's go. A rope. Oh, no. This must be the rope they used when they arrested Jesus. That's not a good sign. That's not good at all. And this. Oh, wow. It's, it's a whip. That's what they use when they beat someone. They must have whipped Jesus, too. Oh, this is terrible. I don't know if we even want to go on, but we have to find out what happened. What? Who throws away money? Who would just throw coins away like this? And so many? Wow. That's a lot of coins. Thirty coins. Could that be the amount of money they paid Judas to betray Jesus? Judas must have realized what a terrible thing he had done. He couldn't stand to keep his money. Oh, I'm 
worried. This isn't looking good at all. Oh man, this is the crown of thorns. This is this they put down on Jesus' forehead. Can you imagine that? Oh man. That must have hurt. I can't believe they did this to Jesus. What he went through. Wow, this is Jesus' robe. They must have taken it off him. And another sword and helmet. The Romans did this. And where are we at? I think this is where Pontius Pilate lives. He's the head of the local government, you know. They would have brought Jesus before Pilate for a trial. But a trial in the middle of the night? This doesn't make sense. That's not a real trial. What's Pilate doing? He's... He's washing his hands of it. He's just... He's asking the priests what to do with them. He hasn't broken any laws. He hasn't... He, he, this is a fake trial. <sighs> Things really don't look good for Jesus. I guess we'll have to wait until tomorrow to see what happens next. But meanwhile, we got to get out of here. Let's go. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Take care.